What's going on? It's Katie here with KT Visuals and today I'm going to show you the quickest way to do the fake stop motion effect in Premiere Pro that looks like this. So let's get to it. All right, so we're here in Premiere Pro and I just pulled up a clip from a futuristic concert that I shot a couple years ago and I think it looks pretty dope when I use this clip. So I'm just going to use this. So bring your clip into the timeline and then you're just going to type in posterize or it's posterized, but I think it's posterized. I'm not sure. And you don't want the plain old one. You want the posterized time and then just drag it onto your clip. And then you'll see that there's different frames here. So I shot this in 60 frames, so it brings it down to 24, which you can see it kind of does a little bit, but not really that much. And if you want it to look like fake stop motion, I would say let's try 10 and see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty dope, but I don't think it's quite what I'm going for. So let's drop it down to eight. And if we watch this at eight frames, it gives much more of a stop motion effect. So this is what it looks like at eight. A lot of people also like to go down to six. Let's see what that looks like. So it kind of takes out the flash in that part. So personally, I would choose eight if I were to use this just as its own little clip for the fun of it. It can be cool to add into edits, but it can also be cool to do on your own. It kind of looks like a GIF in a way. It's super simple and easy to do. Honestly, whatever frame rate you want to use is what you want to use. I think the eight looks most like the fake stop motion effect or more like stop motion, I guess, in general. Uh, so that would be the one that I like to go with typically and it works on any clip I mean if there's a lot of movement in the clip you're gonna have a better chance at it looking good Because um, the movements definitely gonna help it look more stop-motion rather than a still photo Thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have any tutorial requests drop them in the comments as well I'd be more than happy to try them out. I will see you guys next time with another tutorial